Just days before the Hugo Boss Show, video fashion dropped in on last minute fittings. Tailors made precision adjustments as assistants pressed on. The stylist was having a boot emergency, while at the other end of the room, final casting decisions were being made. Through all the bedlam, top model JR took it all in stride. We are so happy being back in New York because it's just, we are feeling like part of New York in the meantime, so it's really exciting being here, showing the first time men and women on the catwalk in New York, it's really very, very exciting for us. Of course, we are trying to have our own identity for men as well as for women, but under one I would say common design philosophy, design spirit. You can see also the synergy between men and women and uh, I think it's very nice showing the men and the women together on the catwalk because it gives you also a certain feeling and a certain sex appeal, a certain twist. In general, the the mood, the feeling remains quite chic, quite smart, but I would say with a more natural, with a more relaxed attitude. So you have still fitted silhouettes, but with much softer shoulder lines. You know, there are so many different men who really could be the Hugo Boss man. I think it's a question of personality and uh, I think the, the Hugo Boss man is a quite modern man who enjoys to wear modern clothes, but he's never trying too hard to be special. He just is, I would say, very sophisticated and he appreciates quality in every detail. I think she is quite sophisticated, she's got a strong personality, but uh, she's also not trying very hard. She loves to experiment with the clothes, playing around, playing with textures, playing with colors. And also the boss women, she appreciate really quality. 